What's up, everybody? It's Kenny Cummins here, chilling with Kenny C. Um, joined with my next guest at this time, courtesy of Longtime Common Entertainment. She is a hip hop artist from the label. She's got a Damn. record out uh, called Brenda's Baby. Uh, it's available on all the platforms, and she's currently at a show, from my understanding. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I'm joined with Black. Barry, what's good? Everything is good. I'm lovely. I'm actually at an event at Purple Buffalo. I haven't performed yet, but it's nice. It's got a good crowd, but I appreciate you having me on the show. <laughs> and appreciate you um, having you on. Um, we'll talk about the show. We'll talk about your music and everything. Uh, first things first, you being a hip hop artist, obviously. Um, how did you get into hip hop? How did it start off for you? Um, well, hip hop originally for me um, started off when I was pretty young, but I'll say that I wasn't motivated to do it until now. <laughs> um, I've actually been doing this, um, actually like being motivated and, you know, pursuing an actual career behind it for only like a year now. So it hasn't really been that long, but um, I always had music you know, in and out my life. Like I tap dance as a little girl. Um, I dance, I sang on the choir. So, you know, music was always there. <laughs> Multi-talented, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-talented. That's, you know, you got to definitely show some versatility, you know, at that young age, just to get a oh, feel yeah. of what's going to be best for you once you get to those 20s and obviously. Um, as far as, you know, hip hop, you in particular, who, who has inspired you as an artist, whether it's mainstream or independent, who stood out to you as far as getting you into becoming an artist? Um, well, I, growing up, um, I played a lot of Tupac, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm like, I'm a Machiavelli fan for sure. For sure. I listen to a lot of Eminem. Um, I listen to a lot of Dr. Dre, you know, the Fuji's, Lauren Hill, that type of thing, you know, real 90s vibe type of thing. <laughs> but I would say currently now today, um, I really picked up a big interest in Tech 9 even though he's an um, a older artist, but, you know, just his music career and the story behind him and, you know, how he did it without you know, ever signing to a label. I think that is really dope. So I think he would be somebody that I look up to nowadays. <laughs> and, you know, so yeah. <laughs> After what Headliner told me about you, I knew I was going to like me some black <laughs> And now I do. You're a lovable she, person. <laughs> <laughs> she she loved herself some Tech 9 I mean, that's, that's yeah, what's I didn't up. really play his music, like, in my younger years, but, you know, with me being in, like, the music industry now and, like, seeing the actual business side to it, I was hanging with my homegirl, Georgia Nubia. Shout out to Georgia Nubia. And I got a feature in her coming up. And so stay tuned for that, you know. But, yeah, you know, and she told me how, you know, that was one of her um, iconic um, hip hip hop stars and you know then right, I actually right. started researching him on my own and I'm like you know that's really dope you know that he was able to do all of that without ever signing to a label you know it's hard <laughs> yeah he, he formed his own label instead and I, yeah. strange mm -hmm. music went on to become probably one of the most established independent hip hop labels and um, a lot of people know that about him yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've gotten to see tech performed twice uh his his energy is is contagious like he just can't help to, to get turned up yes <laughs> it's like it's consuming yeah so it's 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 dope so let's talk about this record brenda's baby um, yeah you, you and uh spook montana collaborated on i think six of the seven tracks uh, yes. Just talk about the, the process of uh, putting this together. And obviously you pointed out you're a Tupac fan and oh, yeah. it's, it's called Brenda's Baby. Yeah. His <laughs> name off of one of his biggest hit songs. Um, yeah. Just talk about putting this album together. What made you decide to have Spook Montana um, okay. join forces with you? 
Um, well, I'm going to talk about the, um, the actual EP first. So with the EP, um, I decided to call it Brenda's Baby because, as you know, I'm a Tupac's fan. My mother's actual name is Brenda, though. So, you know, that always resonated with me as a child, you know, the, being a Tupac fan and having a mom named Brenda's Baby and then, you know, the song Brenda's Baby. And I've, I've had a pretty rough life, so I probably went through most of those things that were sang about in Brenda's Baby. <laughs> so it's like... um. It, I just felt that, you know, my first coming out album should be labeled Brenda's Baby. I have to give respect to where Blackberry comes from. And I come from Brenda. <laughs> so, um, and my brother, like, he's the one who really teach me how to rap. Like, when I first started off, I was just singing. Um, I did a lot of poems, but I never really, like, performed it or let anyone hear it. So my brother kind of really uh, brought me out of that shell um, into rapping and, you know, putting it into, like, word forms behind beats and I just can't get enough of it now so yeah he produces most of all my track we're real close <laughs> and as far as like the songs honestly they were like literally every song on that EP is like a song that I made as a teenager that just never got heard never got exposed so I just felt like if I was going to name the album Brenda's Baby I have to start at the beginning <laughs> and that was the you know the music that was created in the beginning when I really started you know getting motivated and taking it serious you know like pen and paper type days <laughs> yeah so it's real, it's, it's dope to me, but a lot of people don't know the history behind Brenda's Baby. So now people do, I gave a little bit exclusive on your show. <laughs> you know, my mom's name is really Brenda. <laughs> I'm a 90s baby and I'm a Tupac fan. So it's like, I fit the cliche. <laughs> it makes sense. It yeah. Makes total sense. Uh, shout out to mama. Um, obviously, shout out to all the moms out there, the hardworking moms. Uh, just dealing with us kids at a young age and just seeing us grow and blossom mm -hmm. and just uh, Brenda's got to be proud of her, her, her child. You know? And it was dope being in the studio with Jay Brown. Shout out to Jay Brown. He engineered all of it. So that was, that was dope. You know? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah, absolutely. Brenda's baby, and that's spelled with two eyes, by the way. It's yeah. available on all the platforms. You know, everything Blackberry do is gonna it's gonna be a little twist on it. You know, Blackberry spelled with two K's, you know, the K stand for being cool and knowledge. You know, that's what the K stands for in Blackberry. Knowledge and cool, you know. I be cooling with all the knowledge. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so headliner is the CEO of Long Time Common. She's yes. been the CEO for quite some time now. I had a great chat with her. She's mm -hmm. very happy with this position. She's ready yeah. and yeah. been doing a very good job from what I've seen. Um, oh, yeah. From your perspective as an artist and you know, fellow artist and as a friend of hers, what's it like having a um, headliner being a CEO as far as yeah. long time coming? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that last part. <laughs> um, what was it like to have um, Headliner being the CEO of Long Time Coming? Awesome. You know, because um, I actually knew her before the music industry. I'm really close with one of her sisters. And I actually going to her shows is what, you know, made me feel motivated to get out there and want to perform because I like completely had stage fright. You know, Blackberry was only performing in the living room in front of her brother. <laughs> so, you know, I went to a couple of her performance and she did Black Girl Magic and it was just like. I had an epiphany, <laughs> you know, right there in the moment from her performance. So, you know, she's a big uh, mentor to me. I love being with her. She's really dope. And she's very passionate about anything that she does. So I'm very, I, I would say that I know for sure she's going to take it to the next level. <laughs> I definitely believe she will. Um, she she yeah. spreads like a magician. She's yeah. Black it's like magic should be bottled and sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's spreading <laughs> it on you and yeah. like, you know what? She got this. I can do this too. And, yeah. uh, you know, so you yeah. doing your thing. Shout out to everybody of uh, Long Time Coming. And I'm looking forward to interviewing more people from Long Time Coming in the next few okay. weeks. So that's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Now, let's talk about this show that you are currently at. Um, yeah. You um, haven't got to perform yet, but just talk about the show itself and uh, 
for people that's very eager of seeing Blackberry hit that stage, um, talk about the show in particular and uh, what can people expect seeing Black Perry on that stage? Oh, well, first of all, let me just say, Ow, that's what you're gonna expect seeing Blackberry. Just all of the energy on the stage at one time. Cause I'm Brenda's baby. Of course I have to have the energy, <laughs> but I'm actually, I'm at Purple Buffalo. It's a um, show sponsored by uh, Shkrilla Keys. Um, I've actually done a lot of studio time with him recently. He's a great engineer as well. Um, and it's a showcase. I have about a, about a good about 30 artists out here tonight. Um, it's a great event, a great venue. Um, respectfully, Shrilla shows always run uh, professionally. And I knew I had this interview, so I didn't want to perform too early. I wanted to get this interview done because that energy that's released on the stage is just like, after that, <laughs> nothing else is happening after that. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. I mean, I love being on the stage, honestly. It's, it's out of all of this, that work and effort you put into being an artist, like all the studio time and all the recording and going to the shows, the best part of it all is probably that 10 minutes that you have on stage, <laughs> you know? Well, let me just say, I appreciate you finding time to do this interview with me prior to your performance. Uh, I truly, truly, sincerely appreciate that, um, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm grateful that you was able to um, take the time and doing this interview. So that definitely means a lot. So thank you for that. Um, oh, anytime. I love an opportunity to network, and you know I'm a '90s baby, and you know back in the day, a lot of artists they had like background on them and documentaries and things like that. So I'm really big on you know. The interviews, a lot of people don't like the interviews, but I'm big on the interviews because that's how you learn your artists. That's how you learn what type of music you're listening to, their background and where you're coming from. And I feel like nowadays you need to know that about the music that you're listening to. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you have to watch what you consume. So um, I appreciate you wanting me on the show. Honestly, I hope it won't be the last. You know, I told people from the beginning when I started this, don't put me in a box because I might box you. Uh -huh. I'm always known to do something outside of the box. Don't categorize me because there's three of me. <laughs> I'm a singer, dancer, rapper, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to collect 200 every time I pass go. <laughs> so she said, don't put me on the box while don't boxing. Don't put me in the box. I might box your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't categorize me. I might pop out with a country song. You never know. <laughs> well, yeah. with your with your versatility, I I I would like to see that. I would like oh, to see definitely. that. Don't worry, stay tuned. Blackberry is working on a lot of stuff right now. I don't want to talk too much. You know, I even got a couple of movie roles coming up. So I'm really excited about that. Shout out to Donna J. Uh, I was featured in one of her movies. Uh, she also has a feature coming out. Um, it's Colors, Me. Uh, Donna J and uh, Monet. It's a really dope feature called Female Pinocchio. I'm excited for that video to drop. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, expect the unexpected with me. That's it. <laughs> well, I, I like what I see. I like yeah. the, the energy. I like the, the, the positivity. I like you upbeat. You know, and I appreciate that. Uh, before I let you go, Blackberry, why don't you go ahead and um, spread the word on your social media feeds. Where can people find you? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any other links out there? All right. So you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, YouTube, all at Blackberry Brown. And that's B-L-A-C-K-K-B-E-R-I-E. -E. Long time coming entertainment. Ew. <laughs> And uh, check her out tonight, North Charleston, South Carolina. And the name of the location is? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's on uh, Charleston up for um, Cosgrove. So it's not that far. If you're in the area, pull up. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get, get, get some of these vibes from Blackberry. Get the right. laughs in. Get the music in. Have yourself a good time. It's a Saturday night. What could you possibly yeah, do? It's a Saturday night in Charleston. So you got to add that in there when you say that. You guys, it's a Saturday night in the chuck. 
at the chuck. Okay, at the chuck. Okay. See, I still like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this lady. I love Blackberry. I love me some Blackberry. Yeah. Um, appreciate yeah. you being on the show. Have a great performance tonight. Best of success goes out to you. Uh, go check out Brenda ba Brenda's Baby EP is out yeah. on all the platforms. She's going to be performing some of them songs off that record in person. So go, go to the show. And $10 is the entry price. Yeah. And uh, pull up and uh, get turned up with Blackberry. Yeah. And, and if you can't be tonight, you can catch me Sunday at 77 on Dorchester Road. I'm the feature artist. So pull up. And all right. Great chatting with you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great performance, and uh, we'll catch you again some other time. All right. Peace. All right. Have a good night. All right. That was Blackberry. Shout out to her. She's performing.